Hey guys, John here. And Molly. Welcome back to the channel. This is our first full day in Singapore and on today's agenda, we're going to try to hit as many hawker centers as possible. All right guys, let's go. First stop, starting our day with some Singaporean breakfast. We're at Yakun Kaya Toast, a very well-known chain here in Singapore. We've actually had Yakun Kaya Toast in the past and since the last time, I cannot get it out of my mind. Let's get some breakfast. Let's go. We've ordered two different breakfast sets. So of course we had to get the original Kaya toast with butter. And we also want to try the cheesy French toast with a side of Kaya. I'm not sure if this is the right way to eat it, but what we like to do is drizzle the soy sauce on top of the eggs and also a dash of pepper. I'm going to start off with the original Kaya toast. So you grab your piece of toast and you dip it in the eggs. Oh, look at that yolk. That is a perfect combination. That sweet kaya jam with these eggs and that splash of soy sauce. Sweet and savory, perfect match. And I'm going to try the cheesy French toast. It's got a side of kaya here. So you can see the egg on top. Let's try it. Ooh, inside it's melted cheese. I'm gonna try this French toast with some of this kaya jam. Mmm. It's a little bit soft for my liking, but the flavor's all there. It's a little bit eggy, a little bit cheesy, and from that sweetness of that kaya, this is really yummy. We've just gotten off the train at Dobby Gaunt Station, and we're making our way to Fort Canning Park. There's a really popular staircase to take photos here, so we're making our way there now. So here we are on the staircase, it's so pretty, but be mindful if you want to come here, there might be a line to take photos. <laughs> Yakun Kai Toast was pretty much a snack for us. Since we're in Chinatown, we've decided to hit up some of the hawker centers around here. Right now, I'm actually in the Chinatown Complex Hawker Center, which is actually where Hawker Chan's famous soy chicken is. choices of hawker stores here but a good rule of thumb is to look for the longest line We've been waiting for about 15 to 20 minutes and we're not even near the front yet I'm using my money as a fan right now it's so hot That's Hawker Chan! After waiting half an hour at Hawk Chan, we finally have our food. I think I'm only gonna wait in that line once, so I just ordered the lot. I underestimated how big half a chicken was. Look at that. Look at that skin! And just for anyone that doesn't know, Hawker Chan is actually the first Hawker store to receive a Michelin star. That is why the line was so long. The wait is over. That chicken is so tender and that skin, such a good flavor and although it's a little bit oily, it tastes so good. For half a chicken, it was only eight Singaporean dollars and you get all this. First time trying it. Even though it's a breast piece, it's still pretty tender. And that skin, that is so delicious. Next up, going to try the egg noodles and the cha siu, or Chinese barbecue pork. It looks pretty good. My favorite piece of the cha siu are these little burnt ends. Mmm. 
That was such a good piece. With the noodles, there's actually that soy sauce and they've also added a bit of sambal if you want a bit of spice. Mm. So that soy sauce is a little bit sweet, a little bit salty. I think it's actually the same soy sauce they put on their soya chicken. It's so good with these noodles. So the last dish we ordered at Hawker Chan's is the roast pork. We've ordered the roast pork on a bed of rice and it's also served with some peanuts as well. You can already see that crackling is going to taste so good. It's got crunch. It doesn't taste too fatty. I think on its own it is a little bit salty so let's try a bite all together with that rice. And get some peanuts as well. Definitely with that rice, it just balances out that whole dish. I think this might be the favourite out of all three. So this popia is from An Chin Popia, which is a pretty famous store in the Chinatown food complex. We've had popia last night, but this is actually one of my favorite foods in Singapore, so we had to get it again. The texture, that crunch, the freshness, that's really good. It's so addictive. If you are visiting Singapore and you end up at the Chinatown complex for Hawker Chan's famous soy chicken and you're finding that the line is way too long, right outside the Chinatown complex, he's actually opened up an actual store. So if you want to try his soy chicken in an air-conditioned restaurant, right outside. We've just taken a seat down in Tong Heng Bakery. Here you have to try their egg tarts. This bakery is the only place where I've ever seen them where they are diamond shaped. The pastry is already crumbling in my fingers. Mm. Mm. That's still so warm, it's super creamy and the texture of the custard is so smooth. This is a really good egg tart. We're at Hawker Center number two. Right now we're at the Maxwell Food Center and I've got our first dish. This place needs no introduction. It's the famous Tian Tian Hainanese chicken rice. So we've ordered the medium size here. It's only five Singapore dollars. It comes with rice, some chicken and some chili sauce. You can see how juicy that chicken looks and that skin is just glistening with oil. Oh, it looks so good. Mm. That is so much flavor, it's so good. It's exactly how I remember it. If you're visiting Maxwell Food Center, this is a dish that you just cannot miss. Next dish, we've got some fried chicken wings. These are shrimp paste wings from Artan Wings. I actually don't mind shrimp paste myself, so this should be interesting. First time having shrimp paste chicken wings. Mmm. Oh wow. I must say, I'm a fan of these shrimp paste wings. This is actually pretty good. It's super crunchy, super juicy, and you can actually taste some of that shrimp paste in there as well. It's a little bit salty and a little bit stinky from that fish paste, but a good kind of stink. If you're looking for dessert in Singapore, you can't go past chendol. It's basically Singaporean shaved ice with a whole heap of jelly on the side and we've also got some red bean on top. It's melting really fast in this weather, so I'm gonna dig in. I think you have to fry it yourself. Self-service. Ladies and machine, look at her roll out all that dough. Our last snack at Maxwell Food Center. I couldn't resist picking up these bag of donuts. Fresh from the deep fryer, but still warm. 
The texture is similar to like a Chinese donut. This one has red bean in there. And that's such a bargain. It was six of these for one dollar. This is Hawker Center number three. We're standing outside Old Airport Road Food Center. This is our first time at this particular food center. We've heard many good things about this food center and some people even rate it the best hawker center in Singapore. Let's go check it out. We've got our first dish here. This is cha kuei teow. We got it at a place called Lao Fuji Fried Kuei Teow. Looks pretty good. This is the black version and it cost us five Singaporean dollars. So much flavor on that. Mmm. Oh, I forgot that I asked for it to be spicy. It just hit me right there. This is actually really good. It's really smoky and it's Surprisingly, not too greasy, and it's jam-packed with flavor. Mm. The humidity of Singapore, together with that spice, it's just making me sweat right now. Oh my goodness. So another dish that we noticed that was mission recommended are these wonton noodles. They're from a store called Hua Ki, famous wonton noodles. So the wonton noodles, They've come with a couple of wonton dumplings and also some char siu on top. Let's mix it all up. You can just see that spicy sauce at the bottom. You can choose to have a nice spicy as well. All those egg noodles are now coated in that sauce. Mm. These egg noodles just have the right amount of firmness, the springy and that spicy sauce. Wow. Oh, but that definitely gives it a kick. So this bite has the wonton in there. Mm. A wonton wrapper. Mm, that's really good. Not too thick. And I think there's like pork inside. Definitely recommend trying this dish. And I almost forgot that I picked up a curry puff. I actually wanted the black pepper one, but unfortunately they were sold out. So this is just the original chicken curry puff. I just love the pastry on this. Look at that pattern. You can tell that it's going to be super flaky. Oh wow, you, look at that filling in there. It's packed full of that curry filling. And then you can definitely see that pastry, how flaky it is. Mm. Wow, that pastry, you can't beat it. And to end our meal at Old Airport Food Center, we picked up some chilled bean curd. It is silky smooth. That is so refreshing in this humid weather. The bean curd does have a little bit of sweetness in there, so it's a great dessert. We're just going to wrap this video up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, eating with us at all those hawker food centers. Out of everything that we tried today, let us know what you would like to try by leaving us a comment below. We tried our best with the Singapore humidity and crazy weather. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!